So, I'm going to do this video pretty much showing you guys how to install a motorcycle battery. Now, it doesn't matter the style, the genre, or whatever of the motorcycle you have. More than likely, the motorcycle battery compartment is going to be located under the seat. And unless it's something like a scooter or a couple of mopeds, they will be located elsewhere. But in terms of motorcycle, more than likely, it, again, doesn't matter what year, what style, or anything, the battery is going to be in here. I'm not sure about electric motorcycle, but more than likely, that's that. Now, to start this off, you're going to need your actual key for the bike. Now, for some motorcycles, they may have two separate keys, where it's like one is specifically for the ignition, and the other is going to be for the seat or any other compartment. But more than likely, your motorcycle key is also the key to get into where you need to. Now, what you're going to do here is always going to be located on the side. And there we go. Put that bad boy over here. Don't want to drop anything. So, now, because I live in a state that deals with all four seasons, and I pretty much had to winterize my motorcycle, and also I had to remove the motorcycle battery. I hope you guys probably saw my battery tender video, which pretty much already explained that. Now, as you can already see, right in here, once I move this out the way, they give... So, some motorcycle will have these in a different compartment. For here, they just have this in this crevice space shelving unit right in here, right in front of where the motorcycle needs to be. It's actually roomy, got room to put this in there all the way through, but, you know, so it doesn't get burnt or anything. In here is where you're going to have things like screws, bolt, nut, you know, the basic stuff that would come with your motorcycle when you purchase it. Now, as for my motorcycle, as you can see, these are where they connect to the actual battery. And this is actually the strap to hold down the motorcycle. Because as you can see, in this compartment, everything's going to hold the battery in this space juncture. And as you can see, they got these little pads. So that, because when you're riding a motorcycle, you don't really want the battery to be jumping or bouncing a lot so they want something that more to not only keep them stabilized and in play but not have that a lot of vibration because a lot of people probably don't know this but you should know batteries tend to have a lot of chemical components inside of it to help produce the electricity now let me grab my battery and here it is so and please understand, I'm doing this all with one hand. That does not mean it's the best decision, but to pretty much do this video. You know what? I'm going to set this aside real quick. And get this in. And actually, gonna. I don't have light in this garage, so there we go. Still trying to get used to this new camera. Alright, as you can see, everything is pushed down. And from there, you got to unscrew this, as well as this, to pretty much latch these two on. So, give me one. That's where you pretty much go through here. And here, as I already mentioned, these are your pretty much your basic tool. For in case anything that happens, like say you need to pull over to the side and do a quick fix or anything on your motorcycle, you already got the proper basic tool that manufactured to for the bike. However, there are added kits that you can add to it. You never just stick with D. You can always add more things to it, like say you're going on a touring um, type of ride or say you just want to do like a long distance but you want to have other things like you know a couple patches or a couple you know other functionalities of your motorcycle and trying to get this thing out without dropping anything 
There we go. This is one of the pieces that I need. It's actually a handle. And let me use this light real quick. Right in here. Ah, oh, there it is. I see it. Now, you can, as I already mentioned, you can use other forms of tools to do this project, but it's, you know, it's not too crazy or too insane. And that's nothing new. I always tend to drop something. As you see from the close-up, right over here, this is where, right here, this is where, it's also on the other side, right over here. That's where the strap is pretty much going to strap down onto. But i rather, instead of, I'm going to do that last for extra stability, because, where did that go? Oh. Because... I don't want to put it on now and then next thing you know something screws up where I had to readjust the battery. So, as you can see here from my bag compartment, it's a double head flat screwdriver and the star screwdriver. And as you can see from here, you just slide in the end for the proper size, and then you just pretty much go to town. You could do a quick twist. Some of it is different from all these pieces, but more than likely, it is what it is. So as you can see, got the star in, or the forehead, and I'm going to loosen this up just a little bit. Now, here's the thing. You got to be careful because under here, inside this um, cavity, is actually a bolt that's pretty much where the screw goes into. You do not want to lose that bolt. You actually want to keep the bolt staying in that cavity. And I'm going to take the screw completely out right now. And you probably can't see it that well, but always make sure that bolt is correctly aligned for the, yeah, there we go. Then we just put this one down. Gonna have to adjust. There, come on, work with yeah, I've been doing this a lot, but because now the camera's on, it seems like, oh, we're just going to fight you this time. And I'm going to have to use my other hand. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, of course, my motorcycle is off. You do not want, before installing the, the battery, make sure everything is completely off. You don't have anything accidentally on or anything because once you put on the other, you know, install the other side, electricity is just going to immediately go into the bike. And because you're touching metal, yeah, you're going to electrocute yourself. So... There we are. Now, you want it to be snug. You don't want it to be too tight. Because when it gets too tight, then it becomes a pain in the ass. Because then you're going to, you know, if you need to winterize your motorcycle or you're going to replace your battery, you may risk strepping the actual screw insert. And it, it will cause damage to your screwdriver or any of your power tools. So... We're pretty much going to be doing the same thing over on this side, except, well, it's not really anything different, but except because this rubber piece 
as you can see, I moved it completely away. And the reason for that is, this, here's the reason why I'm doing this one last. Because it has this rubber um, piece, that wiring, and then flat top right up here, is pretty much, for, in my opinion, for safety. Because if you do this one first, and then you do this one second, and like I already mentioned earlier, like if you want to make sure everything is off on your motorcycle or electricity is going to immediately um, start working, and you will get yourself electrocuted. But for safe reasons, obviously, as you can tell, it's just a quick thing. Now, as you can see, it seems kind of easy and loose for me now. That's because... You know, if you remember my battery tender, I had opened it up loosely enough for the clip to get in there. And then I put it down so that way it can always receive its charging unit. That's just how I do it. But, let's remove this right here. I'm going to set this up here for now. And now for this piece. Now here... Where? Wait, actually, always make sure the bolt in there is complete. Yep, it's so all aligned. Put this in there. Now, put grab this. Yep. Oh, sorry, finger in the way. in there and give it a good twist yeah okay so it's always good to have some form of conductor or some sort of insulator or something to pretty much stop electricity from running like I said, make sure it's snug. Okay. So, they're both good. They're both in there. They're both snug. Now, as you can already say, let me put this to the side. And this is the final piece. Well, I always do a, like, a little check to make sure it's not loose in there. Everything's good. Not bouncy. That's good. Put this clip over in here. There we are. That's the sound I want to hear. Then this last one. And it's always kind of... Oh, that was easy for the first time. And voila, there you go. Battery completely installed. And all I got to do pretty much is take my screw apart, put it back in this compartment... Put it back into the shelving unit because like I said, it has a lot of space in here. So that's pretty good. And like I said, you don't have to use this. You can always upgrade or add more components. There we go. Add more components. You know, like screwdriver, more wrenches, L wrenches, anything. You know, if you got the space for it in your motorcycle, it'd be under here or even under the passenger seat which this is sitting on top now, you can literally just, yeah. So, all I have to do pretty much, like I said, is put this seat back on. And then, you know, obviously when putting back the seat, you got to make sure this is in the unlock position because you're not going to really see it because the shading, but there's like a lever or clip that has to clip into this right over here and if it if it's still in this lock position as you're putting it on it's not going to go in so obviously you got to hold this in push it down and then turn the key and then make sure the seat is completely 100% locked and you're pretty much all done so yeah this is a video on how to install a motorcycle battery into your motorcycle like I said
because I'm doing a video on it, it's taking me longer. Normally, it takes me like a quick five minutes or, you know, under five minutes because it ain't no thing. But pretty much, yeah, this is what it's going to look like for my motorcycle, that is. And then, yeah, so hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any other questions or concerns, um, definitely shoot it down. I should be able to hopefully answer all your questions. If not, somebody will probably answer as well. But other than that, yeah, that's how you install a battery. All right, then. Later.